Okay. <clears throat> hey everyone. <clears throat> oh god. My my voice is broken. Everything's broken all the time. Anyway, so yeah, like I was mentioning a few minutes ago. Um so normally what I do is I use a tool to just pick a random game for me out of the the list of games that I have. Um it's just a simple little random number generator that I created, nothing fancy. Um well actually similar to that it picks a random game not a number anyways point is that meant that every game had the same exact chance of being picked i wanted to change that up a little bit so again for anyone that missed it you can now using twitch rewards thing vote on games anytime you vote on a game for like 100 points 200 points whatever i have it set as it will add to the weight so you can see every game by default um starts out with one weight on it Every time you vote on one, I'll add one more to it, and then it'll just keep rising up the chances of it over and over and over again. How the page works, uh, right now I'm viewing it as a guest, so I can't actually change anything right now. Um, this is the same thing you guys would see if you were to visit the page. Uh, but I can set filters up here, right? So like only games that are owned, only games that I have streamed before, or only, so right now I have it set to only games that I own but haven't streamed or finished. Um, I can change that for other things if we needed to for any reason, but this is the mode that it's going to be in most of the time. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Uh, normally you could click this button a couple times to get a new random number, but if you just refresh the page, that also gets a random number. So that's how we're going to do it since I'm in guest mode right now. And then you'll see the random number that it settled on after everything loaded was 21. So that highlighted Ford Racing 3. So that's not the role that we're going to use, but that's how the games are going to be picked now. And the same thing after this new game that we start, right, because we're doing a poll uh, for the next game that we're going to complete. After that, we're going to use the same method, more or less, to pick the games that we complete. I'm going to have a much smaller list of games, because this is the list of every North American PlayStation 2 game. Um, 1,794 of them. Uh, we'll have a much smaller list of the games that... that I am interested in completing on stream, um, maybe ones that you guys have suggested that I'm interested in completing on stream, or whatever the case may be, mostly centered around PlayStation stuff, since that is kind of the theme that we're going with at the moment with the PS2 gauntlet, uh, but anyways, you guys will, there's a slightly more expensive reward in the on Twitch that you can use your channel points to purchase, and that one will add weight to those games. Of course, those games... We're going to be playing for much longer, hence why it's uh, it's a little bit more expensive to vote on those ones with points. There's nothing nothing money involved. Um, I am considering. I don't know how I'm how I would make it work, but I am considering for like every subscription you get like five votes or something along those lines. Um, for every I don't know donation of ten bits or more, you get a vote or something like that. I am considering doing something like that as well, but it's a little bit harder to do that sort of stuff. Um than it is to 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 do the the channel points things uh because there's no like system set up for it with the channel rewards things i have a queue every time you guys request one of those so i can leave it in the queue go over add a point click the button to take it off of my queue and then you know repeat so that i, I so i don't miss anything subscriptions and things are a little bit easier to miss but I think that's going to be the plan. At the very least, subscriptions aren't too bad. Because, I mean, we only have, what, 10, 9 subscribers a month. So, uh, yeah, I think every time someone resubs or or new sub or whatever, they'll get five votes if they want to. If not, that's fine, too. Uh, so, yeah, that's how, that's how we're going to pick the games. If there's any questions or anything, of course, let me know. This is all very much early. Eventually, I want to, as I mentioned before, create a bot. And that bot would handle most of this stuff for us. But right now I'm having to do most of it by hand because I just haven't had the time to to work on doing on that. So speaking of anime and background video, Tokyo Revengers just keeps leaving you hanging, Nate. Every time I think we are coming to the last, it leaves on a cliffhanger. Anime has been confirmed for a second season. That's awesome, man. Um, I mean, it's not awesome that it... Oh, okay. Well, you just added a wait. So yeah. So what I'll do, you'll see it update over here in just a moment. I have to go to my personal page. So I just go to the base set, I go down to Shaman King, since that's the game that you voted on, and then I just add one. So now it should pop up as having two. I need to remember to update that on my personal list. So now we can see Shaman King 
if we roll a 54 or 55, right? Because this one here stops at 53. So 54 or 55, Shaman King would be the winner. So it makes it just that much uh, higher of a chance that that game would be the winner. And that's good example. Thank you for voting on that, Nate. That gives us a gives me, I guess, a chance to kind of show how that's going to uh, how that's going to work in the future. Um, but anyways, yeah, as far as uh, Tokyo Revengers goes, hey, silence. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the resub. I really, really do. And perfect timing. I was just mentioning that anyone that resubs, I'm going to give five free votes on whatever game they want to see from this list. I don't know if you have the ability to look at the list at the moment. Um, it is on screen, but if you're on mobile, it might be a little bit small. Um, but these are the, the games in green are the ones that, uh, that you get a free vote on. So if you, if you would like to, then you're more than welcome to, to do so. Oh man, Silent, I really am happy to see you, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, but anyways, yeah, no, the anime, <laughs> I need to really watch it still one of these days. One of these days I, I need to give it a watch. Um, cause you talk about it all the time and it does sound really cool, but, uh, but yeah, obviously I, I never have. So yeah. Uh, it's on what, like HBO Max or something like that? Yeah, the list is huge. So <laughs> the list here is every PlayStation 2 game. Um, I'm considering taking off the things that I don't own yet and only for the public list because I have a private version of this list as well. Uh, but the reason why I decide to leave everything up is so that if people want to see, one, the community can verify that I'm not missing any games on this list that I'm trying to collect. Um, and two, if the community ever wants to suggest a game for me to pick up or anything like that, then it's nice to, you know, they can look through the list and, and find something that I, that I don't already own or whatever more easily that way. I do always sort it so that the uh, games that we finished on stream are at the top. This is sp PS2 specific list. Um, and then the games that we've tried out but we haven't finished are in blue and they're always second on the list. And then the games that I own that we haven't tried yet are are next in green. So I do try most of the time to keep it sorted like that to make it to make it a little bit easier to follow. All the stuff in gray you can mostly ignore. That's just the stuff I don't own yet. <laughs> Someday, but not yet. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hang out just for a minute or two, and then we are going to do the roll. So if anybody wants to vote on a game, uh, now's your time to do it before we before we do the roll. Um, yeah, like I said, the, the one downside is that I can't toggle it since I'm not signed in. I guess I could sign in. Uh, let's just turn off the camera real quick. Do I want a splash of ice cream creamer in the, in the, oh, in the tea? I mean, that would probably be good. I, yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to say no to some ice cream creamer in my tea, man. That sounds wonderful. Are you kidding me? Just a splash though, because I don't need all that sugar, uh, especially after the, the dinner that we just ate. We, we had burgers, pierogies, and vegetables for dinner. It was delicious, but... Oh man, am I, I am stuffed. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was a uh, noodles idea for the most part. It was a good, it was a good idea though. A delicious idea. There we go. So now I'm signed in. So now I can actually make changes to it. So I can't go ahead and, uh, is it this one? There we go. Make it a little bit easier too, if anyone votes or anything like that. Do I still want the extra sugar pack, extra sweetener packet, not actual sugar? Um, no, I guess I guess if you're gonna put a splash of creamer and leave out the extra packet of of sweetener, yeah, we don't really need both, do we? It's only 24 episodes. You've been keeping up on the manga because it just caught me that good. And honestly, if you wouldn't have recommended a race, I probably wouldn't have came across it when I did because that got me started on the time looper kick. Dude, a race is so good. <laughs> I've been considering rewatching it. I'm not gonna lie. One problem with eating before stream, <clears throat> for some reason, when I when I eat, I get all congested, like every time I eat. But anyways, uh, I've also been wanting to rewatch Your, Your Lie in April. I was talking about it to someone the other day, and it got me uh, wanting to watch it again. Rewatch the first episode. 
I don't know, a couple weeks ago. But I just haven't had time to watch any more of it. But anyways, okay. So it doesn't look like we have any more votes coming in right now for any games or anything like that. That's fine. So we are going to go ahead and do a reroll. Uh, now that I can change things, I can show you here that, like I said, it is customizable. So right now, it's only counting games that are unowned. So like if we ever want to randomly pick a game to buy for some reason or something like that, we could do that by having everything turned off and then it would pick a game for us to buy here uh so like that role there was for max Payne, for instance um now if we wanted to like replay a game for some reason we could mark the ones that are owned streamed and finished then it would pick one of the ones that we have played in this case it picked odin sphere and then finally if we wanted to do one like play more of one or do you know revisit a game for some reason we could do that as well and that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how Benta and Alien Force ended up getting a <laughs> getting a hyperlink to the Bible game. That's odd. We'll just ignore that. Anyways, in this case, it picked Shrek. So again, it, it works relatively easily, thankfully. I try to make it user friendly for myself <laughs> and uh, for everyone to understand whenever they're watching stream. But all right. Uh, so yeah, this is how we're gonna pick each game, and we're gonna go ahead and do that now before we waste too much time so i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the toggle um i that's supposed to stay on whenever i do that but whatever i must not have updated this page anyways that's fine so medal of honor vanguard is what it picked so that's what we're gonna play i'm going to leave this page up well i'm gonna minimize it i mean and then go to my personal list and oh lord i just realized that the way that's stretched out does not look great on stream does it <laughs> that's trash oh well whatever anyway so i'm gonna pop in medal of honor vanguard and then we're gonna be right back guys all of that, that stuff i guess we'll just go ahead i don't know if uh nate's gonna make it to this one today or not but uh so we'll go ahead and start getting into some of the other little things um another thing if anybody looks at the the reward request stuff like the uh like the the take a drink the stretch um the irl word ban all that there's some new stuff in there i don't remember all the new stuff that i added because i added a fair few things but there's like a posture check one which is you know whatever um there is a if a mod wants to do uh, a poll for whatever reason banning in-game actions i feel like would be a fun one um if we're in a game where you can drop your weapon, or I guess in, like, Devil May Cry here, we could change our weapon or whatever. There's a, a drop it command. Uh, you could force me to run an ad for some reason. I don't know why you'd want to do that one, but you could. Uh, <laughs> I guess maybe as a reminder more than anything. Because, uh... <laughs> and it started already. Uh, emote only chat. You can make me turn emote only on. Uh, reverse reverse is where we uh, mess up the controller. If I remember correctly, uh, lose the glasses. I can take off my glasses. And then the the fun one, I think, is uh, you can add a command. So obviously I have the uh, bot that's always running, right, in the background. And so I can do things like do the PS2, right? I can do that. Uh, so you could add your own command. Now, obviously it has to be, it can't be like anything, you know, offensive or, or, or crazy. You know, but I, uh, yeah, you can, you can make me add a, a command, whatever you want. So you would tell me what you want the code to be and then what you want the command to say whenever it's ran. And then you can do that. No using your sword for five minutes. Okay. So just, just square squares only. Gotcha. <laughs> we can do that. Look at your redeems. I saw my redeems. I saw it. I was just going over all the other ones. Don't worry, I didn't miss you, Rue. So, grenade launcher, uh, freaking... Now, you said no using my sword. Technically, that means I could go over here and go into the Ifrit, because those aren't swords. Those are gauntlets. <laughs> so, we could equip those, and then we could just use those to beat the hell out of people. That's technically allowed. You only get to pick one action that I'm not allowed to do. 
So, <laughs> do it. <laughs> um, where are we going anyways though? Are we supposed to be jumping down here maybe? I don't know. I'm actually a little bit lost. But yeah, so so that was fun. I got that thrown in there. I thought that would be a fun, a fun little thing for us to do. Um, then we have the community event, which you can donate up to 2,000 points a day. Uh, no more than that. And like I said, if, if we hit the goal on that one, we'll be doing the 12 hour stream in a month or so. I forget exactly what I have the goal set on that one. I can pull that up though. If I go into my settings here, let me pull that up before I forget. We have do do do, not leaderboards, not tiers. Oh, where is it? Channel, maybe. I don't think it's under channel. Stream? Do, 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 do. Oh, I... Where is it? There it is. Channel points. Rewards and challenges. Yeah, it's a 12-hour stream. It is already started. The goal is 35,000 points in the next uh, 30 days. So, it's a pretty big goal. I don't know for sure if we'll hit it or not, but... Fingers crossed, man, and I, I believe in y'all. Some of you guys have so many freaking points that it's insane. And there we go. Already got the first 2,000. Thank you, Rue. I appreciate the uh, the donation of points there. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure, like, with the last one, Nate uh, donated a, a shit ton towards that one as well. So I'm sure once he finds out about it, he'll probably be up there. And uh, Noodle, I'm sure, has a crap ton of points. So I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up donating a lot as well. But, uh... Yeah, I think we'll hit it. I tried to make sure it was something attainable, but I didn't want it to be, like, uh, too easy. Because the first time I just did, like, 12,000 or something like that for the first 12-hour stream, and it ended up being, like, way too easy for, for Nate to <laughs> get all the points in there that were required. And, yeah. So this one, this one hopefully is a little bit more of a challenge for y'all. Why can't we go in here? Oh, we can't. We just needed 200 red orbs. Dope. Let's go. There we go. All right, everyone. Uh, Silence Nate wants to duel you because, of course, he does. Uh, he wants to steal your points. He's really good at that. Anyways, guys. All right. Let's get into the game, shall we? Also, in case you missed it, Nate said stretch, hydrate, posture check. Do it. Everyone, don't care who you are. And if you're physically able, uh, stand up, stretch, get get feeling good, or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's play a little bit of Medal of Honor Vanguard, man. I hope this one's good. Medal of Honor Frontline wasn't too bad, besides the fact that I, you know, suck at it. You're making tea, so in that case, you're already standing up and working on hydrating. Let's just do a little stretch. Let's do, you know, a little stretchy stretch. Get yourself all loose and limber for making your tea. And <laughs> Oh, by the way, guys, in case it wasn't clear... Um, the games that you choose to vote on, if you choose to vote on a game, or add weight to a game, um, you can you can vote multiple times on the same game. You can vote as many times as you want. There's no limit to it. Uh, so if you if you have the points and you really want us to play a game, you can make that happen relatively quickly. Um, I do have the pick a game action still enabled. Uh, that way people can do that in case there's a game they really want to see. It's just much more expensive than the voting on a game thing. But if you want to save up for that one, of course, you can do that as well. I may disable it in the future, or or maybe we'll just do it for, like, random game requests or something. I don't know. We may end up changing that. But for now, it is still up and going. Hell of a cutscene, man. I like that it looked like it was actual gameplay in the cutscene. I've been looking at a bunch of games recently, just like uh, on Steam and stuff like that, and it really irks me how many games there are that don't use any sort of actual gameplay footage in their, their trailers and stuff like that. You know, whether I watch it on YouTube or on, on Steam or whatever, there's just so many of them that, uh, that completely ignore gameplay. I just want to know, like, <laughs> I just want to know what the game plays like, man. Like, that's cool that you can make this, you know, cinematic trailer and it looks nice and all that. But that don't do me any good if, if the gameplay for the game sucks, you know? 
<clears throat> like you gotta you gotta give me something here game I can't think of like a specific one off the top of my head but yeah uh, yeah we'll save the profile why not yeah so uh because like I, I enjoy watching gameplay trailers just kind of in general you know so I have an idea of what's out there plus of course I do the just one more level podcast so I like to kind of stay on top of different games that are coming out or that I want to try for that etc etc and uh, it just makes it so much harder to do whenever they don't show you anything subtitles on for sure uh, everything else will just leave on default game settings uh, invert we need to turn that on XY sensitivity controller layout that's all fine uh, no I meant X to confirm not like X to go into the menu did I hear about how some game companies are doing game previews slash early demos now? What do you mean? Because, like, on Steam, that's always been a thing. Do you mean, like, on console or something like that? Uh, yeah. You can overwrite game data. That's fine, game. Also, I think... Do I have my... I might have my upscaler set to the wrong profile. There we go. Oh, that's just the way I thought. <laughs> I thought the the things were being cut off, right? Because I saw profiles, and you could only see the O files part of it. And I was like, that doesn't seem right. Do I have it set to sixteen by nine? Or no, I'm just an idiot. And uh, you have to scroll through the things here. That makes sense. Hey, anyway, let's get into the game, shall we? I hope it's good. Uh, we'll just do veteran, I suppose. That seems like the standard difficulty, the middle option. Because, yeah, I know, like, uh, games on Steam have had the, uh... Oh, shit, I completely forget what they're called. It's escaping my mind. But, you know, the, the... You can buy a game and play it early, and then demos have been a thing for a while. I know Sony is pushing demos a lot on their platform, but... Oh, more companies are, are sending out review copies to, like, just streamers and stuff like that? That's what you're saying? Streamers, YouTubers, etc.? I mean, that's a good thing. The more Call people that can review Americans. a game before it can come out, the better. The 82nd Division had been around since World War I. That was the first time we went to Europe and kicked the Hun back across the Rhine. But it wasn't until the bombs dropped on Pearl Harbor and Hitler and the Nazis declared war on the United States that this new conflict got big enough to be thought of as a Second World War. That's the first time someone mentioned the 82nd Division might become airborne. They lined us up, asked for volunteers, for an extra 50 bucks a month, we'd be part Thank of a you great American that is experiment cool. <laughs> in warfare. We'd jump Thank out you. of airplanes into combat. We'd be the first, the vanguard. We shipped off to Georgia for training, then England, then Operation Torch in Africa, where we got shot at by a bunch of French who seemed to think working with Hitler was a good idea. Then, one day, the brass came out of the briefing tent and gathered their leaders. Then the captains and sergeants got their guys. Within 15 minutes, word had reached every soldier in camp. This was it. Operation Husky. The Americans were fighting Hitler's own. And we were going in first. Ah, uh, the classic World War II storyline, man. Wait, what? <laughs> no. Are you serious? That's a thing they're doing. They're just sending game footage instead of actual gameplay or like an actual copy of the game. Whatever company's doing that, that's trash, man. Because <laughs> <Like, laughs> there's so many ways you can manipulate that. I mean, how many times we saw with things like E3, you know, with uh, game companies trying to pass off uh, CG footage as, uh, as gameplay and shit like that. And then the game comes out and just ends up being trash or where things get changed, or the game could be buggy as hell, you know, and they could just cut it out of the footage that they send to reviewers. Like, no. I would never. <laughs> I, I'm obviously not of that size that I get early copy of anything, but uh, if any company ever tried to be like, hey, we're going to send you some early gameplay footage if you're willing to review it on... No, fuck no, dude. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> I'll gladly play your game early and give my thoughts on it, but I am not... Uh, I am not <laughs> looking at some footage and and 
gonna gonna put any sort of word on it behind over or yeah <laughs> get up, get moving. you get what I'm saying I can't speak English too well but <laughs> okay so that's a ABS that doesn't seem to do anything this is grenade is there any way to cancel grenade circle okay circle also changes weapons Oh, so when we, okay, so when we aim down sights, we can't move. It's kind of like I, I think uh, front lines was the same way. How do we go prone? Hold square. Maddie plays was talking about it earlier. I've never actually watched them before. I don't think. How do I get back up? Triangle. Okay, where were we getting shot from? Probably that guy right there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, is it possible to run? Oh my god, I suck at aiming with a controller, man. I'm not great at FPS just in general, to be honest, but then you put a controller in my hands and it gets real bad. Maybe maybe it'd be a good idea to switch weapons. What do the arrows do? Nothing. Triangle stands up. Circle. I'm assuming this is like a single shot. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, L3 seems to run. It's not a toggle, though. Can we change the controls at all? Is that an option? It'd be nice if we could, like, toggle the running. No. Options are very limited. That's, I mean, to be expected of an old game, I guess. But still, remappable controls would be fantastic. Are you... Are you bad guy? I think you're bad guy. Why are spiders a thing? Because if there weren't spiders, then other uh, other insects would take over the world. <laughs> you gotta you gotta have a balance of all things, man. Was he talking to me? Am I supposed to be heading up the ramp? Are there people up there? There must be. Oh, hi. <laughs> we don't need insects either. I mean, we kind of do need insects, actually. Are you you good guy? You must be good guy. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, we got a radar. I didn't even see that down there. That would that'd probably help a little bit. Can we get like a sneaky little shot. Oh, Jesus, you were ready. I'm assuming we, we regen health automatically yeah okay i mean i figured you know that's very call of duty s most games seem to do that sort of thing when you move the shower curtain there was a spider he was just saying hello man i bet you if you asked nicely he would let you take the the shower get fucked headshots all day let's go no <laughs> uh, i suck at fps man especially Especially console FPS. Good work. Now let's head to the town. I don't to like these the controls. I really down. wish I could change it. What's the reload button? I think it's X. Maybe we're fully reloaded. Let's go. We're moving light and fast. Table I mean, frontline me. was pretty decent. Don't get me wrong. Oh, you can press L2. Is your that a toggle? That no, that's not a toggle. Make well, it's a little bit easier of a way to uh right. to get through than. Or to run, I mean, then to uh, hold L3 at the very least. Something blew up. Don't mind me, Mr. Soldier, sir. Oh, oh. Wait, did I hit them? Maybe someone else hit them, because... Believe it or not, game, I have figured out how to play it. You don't have to you don't have to tell me. Did he just throw a grenade? No. Peek out. Go ahead. Come on out. Oh, I'm like prone prone, huh? <laughs> you can move pretty quickly for being completely prone on the ground. Obsidian sent him gameplay footage of Pentiment. It's becoming more standard practice for game preview for content creators. That's absolute trash, man. That should not be a thing. 
absolutely should not be a thing. But I am curious, what the hell is pen pentiment? I haven't heard of that one, I don't think. I mean, I'm assuming it's some sort of RPG or something just based off of, you know, obsidian, but... Okay, peek out again. What? Dude, go down. <laughs> I am curious what kind of game it is. I'll give you that. What are you doing? Oh, you're playing smart. Got it. <laughs> Who plays smart, man? You just <laughs> take the bullets. You're a super soldier. You'll regen in a couple of minutes. It's fine. What's the reload button? Maybe this gun you just can't reload. You just have to run out of ammo with first. Okay, I'm trying not to shoot you in the head there, friendo. The one hit kill? No, two hits. Oh, uh, maybe it is one hit kill. Maybe we just didn't get a good hit the first time. It seemed like all we did was knock off his hat, but... <laughs> it's one of Asidian's new projects. It's a little different from their standard when it comes to art and some stuff, but you haven't gotten to watch the full video yet. Yeah, I mean, Obsidian, you know, well-known for the RPGs. That's why I kind of assumed it was that. But they are also working on... Isn't Obsidian that's working on that, uh... On those, uh... That, that survival game with the... Where you're, like, insect-sized and you're in the grass. And you have to, like, you know, survive, build up a base, do research, explore, etc., etc. Pretty standard, honestly, as far as adventure games go, but the setting's really cool. I think it's Obsidian that was making that one, too. Which is kind of out of left field for them, but from what I saw of that game, it looked pretty cool. Spray and pray you won't hit anything from that distance. Got it. So spray and pray. That's... <laughs> Come on. Somebody peek out. I need my I need my hit indicators. How am I supposed to know if I'm doing good? Did I hit? Am I hitting the wall? There we go. Nope, never mind. I thought that sound maybe meant that I hit. No, that sound meant that I was out of ammo, you dumbass. Oh god again. Can I just run up there? I'm about to just freaking run up there. Oh my god. All these people in the way. How about that? Will that do anything? <laughs> oh god. Punch him in the face. That always works. Ow! Ow! I'm dead. Am I dead? I'm dead. Hey, it turns out when they yell sniper, hide. <laughs> Snipers hurt. <laughs> Who would have guessed, man? Oh god. Uh <laughs> Did I get him? <laughs> Did he disappear? Where'd he go? Get up the stairs! Quickly! Uh excuse me, I tried to hit you. Uh, down, down. Oh, we almost died again. It's okay. Everything is okay. <laughs> it does look like it has RG RPG aspects. Going a little off the beaten path for them, which you're all in for. I mean, it's what Naughty Dog did. What Naughty Dog? Oh. Naughty Dog. You mean whenever they made, like, The Last of Us and whatnot? Or what game are you talking about with Naughty Dog? I need to play those games, by the way. Last of Us and Uncharted and all that BS. I own them. I just haven't gotten around to playing them yet. Someday. Oh, God. Somebody down there's got a uh, pretty decent aim. Is it a sniper? 
There he is. There you- Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate it. Got him. Objective complete. I'm hoping that also means checkpoint. Oh, God. You could yell out sniper just a little bit sooner. <laughs> Guys, I wouldn't mind, I promise you. Has anyone watched House of Dragons yet? The Game of Thrones spinoff? Noodle and I watched the first episode a couple of days ago. I'm enjoying it. It's not quite to the same standard of Game of Thrones just yet, I feel like. Um, like Game of Thrones, you know, the first episode had big moments in it. And it, I feel like the, the first episode of House of Dragons, I'm not going to give any spoilers in case people haven't seen it. Um, but I feel like it just didn't have any of those really big, like, you know, genre-defining moments. Like, uh, spoiler for Game of Thrones, I guess, but Ned Stark dying um, very early on in the series. But, I mean, we are only in first episode, you know? Those, those moments, I'm sure, will happen. I was just surprised that nothing bigger happened in the in the first episode to kind of try and pull people into it. Is that a... I thought that was a live grenade for a second. I'm assuming that's just grenade refill. Why do I have to be the one to head upstairs? You have watched it, Silence? How do you feel about it so far? So I'm not trying to spoil it for anyone that hasn't watched it and maybe is interested, but... Um, did you did you enjoy it at the very least? I, I, I did, honestly. I, I, I did enjoy it. I'm, I'm excited for the next episode. I want to see where they're going to take it. You know, where they're going to go with it. God. Pentiment is going to be a murder mystery. That's weird. <laughs> In the 16th century with no combat? What? That is really odd for a uh, Obsidian game, man. I mean, fingers crossed it ends up being good, though. I am interested to see... Oh, wait, you know what? I did hear of it. Because that's the game that uh, I saw a headline. I didn't read the, the article. But I saw a headline that said something along the lines of... Um, Obsidian worked on Pentiment, I suppose was the name of it, for some number of months without telling Microsoft. Like, <laughs> which I thought was funny. They just like worked on it in secret for a long time without telling anyone. And now they're just like revealing it out of nowhere. You enjoy it and you do agree, but you read Fire and Blood. Keep an eye out. We need so you know where they're going. I gotcha, I gotcha. I, uh, I haven't read any of them yet. I do have uh, Song of Ice and Fire, everything that George R. R. Martin has read so far for the, you know, main Game of Thrones series. Um, but I haven't read any of the spinoff stuff either, I guess, because, yeah. <laughs> I tried to read Song of Ice and Fire, the first book. And I enjoyed it. His style of writing is pretty decent. But my, mem my memory is so bad, I have trouble keeping track of, especially people's names. And uh, there's just a lot of characters to keep track of. Thankfully, there is like a uh, whatever you want to call it in the back of the book. So if you forget who someone is, you can look them up and shit like that. That's helpful. But at the same time, man, it's just too much for me to keep track of. Sarge, there's at least two Index? Yeah. Um, is that... What you call it an index? I don't know. Whatever you'd call it. T is good. T is good. Thank you, love. You're winning Outer Worlds 2. It's confirmed, but probably a couple more years away. I haven't played that yet either. And whenever I first saw it, I was kind of excited for it. Um, but I watched, I think it might have been a Salt Factory video on it. I don't remember who it was. But they, they brought up some really good points about it being just seeming a little, uh, I don't know, bland almost. Like, it... it just a little too it, it's just not having enough substance to it you know like they they said it was a good game but it was kind of just it didn't have the depth that they were kind of hoping from an obsidian game um it had some some really cool moments but but most of the game was just 
you know, running and doing the same thing over and over again, that sort of, that sort of stuff, which I get, and it, Outer Worlds especially I get, because it was meant to be a smaller take on the genre, not a, you know, not as large as, like, a, a Fallout game or anything like that, so I understand why it wouldn't be as complex, but it's still, it sucks to see that that's, uh, that's what happened with it, because... Because I was uh, somewhat excited for it when they when they originally announced it. I still do want to play it though, and whenever I get my Steam Deck, I'm gonna be wanting to play those games even those types of games even more. It's one of the reasons why I'm excited to get a Steam Deck because I'll be able to play more PC games uh, more often. Whereas right now I just don't have a whole lot of time to play them. But with the Steam Deck, you know, being able to play from bed more easily, uh, at work on like my lunch breaks, etc., etc. So I plan on playing more of that stuff here soon but sadly so far my steam decks ha my steam deck hasn't shipped out which is very sad <laughs> oh god <laughs> it's okay everything's okay we're alive that grenade hurt like hell hello anyone in the building i like your wallpaper here it's uh interesting choice why are you hiding? Oh, these buildings are connected. I'll be honest, I thought I thought it was just like the one building. I didn't realize they were all connected together. I guess like that is a very European style of uh, home building, homes, right? Where they do the like big long line of buildings all, not necessarily all connected together, but a bunch of them connected together. I'm sure there's a name for that style of architecture, but... Was he trying to use that, that as cover? Oh god, I'm dead. Two shots. Must have been to the head. Hmm. Sarge, there's at least two squads of Germans moving in on our position. No, the tea is delicious, love. Thank you. I've been sipping at it. You heard him. We can't I need to clean off my uh, my tea warmer and throw it on there. Which I think I'm going to do that real quick if I can not get shot for a moment. Just move this bar of chocolate that I had sitting on my tea warmer. I wasn't keeping the chocolate warm. <laughs> just, to, just to be clear to everyone. I just had it sitting there so it wasn't in my way on the chest. <laughs> I don't melt my bars of chocolate before I eat them. If you do, I'm not here to judge, but uh, that's not my <laughs> it's not my style. Oh my god, dude. So these are the Germans now instead of the Italians? I agree with what they- Oh, I almost- Stop running in front of my rifle, you dick! <laughs> I agree with what they were saying earlier is what I was trying to say. It does seem like these guys are much better trained than uh, than the Italians were. At the very least, they're, they're hitting more of their shots. Oh, God. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, they're retreating. And run to the other side. You guys handle the roadblock. I'm getting the building. Definitely could be tuned up, but it was a good game overall. Some good companions, fun side quests. Definitely give an honest try, man. You highly recommend it. Don't want to talk talk it up, but it definitely seems like a series that will continue to get better. Yeah, I am very curious on what they're going to do with it in the future. Because, like, it's obvious what they're doing. It, it's weird because Microsoft owns both companies now. But they're very obviously, you know, making a Fallout knockoff. And now with, what's it called, Avowed, I think, they're making a Elder Scrolls knockoff. So, like, <laughs> so it, it's it's odd. Um, because now Microsoft's going to have Fallout and a Fallout knockoff with Outer Worlds. And then they're going to have Elder Scrolls. Then they're going to have an Elder Scrolls knockoff with with um, Avowed. Like, it's just, it's very weird that they bought both companies, man. And it's going to continue to get more weird because there's been talks of now that Microsoft owns both New Vegas 2 may be happening. So, like, they're going to make their knockoff game. 
and then they're gonna turn around and make an actual Fallout game. Like, it's just, it's a very weird situation that Microsoft set up there. To be clear, I'm still against Microsoft buying both companies, to be honest, but um, I, so far the way they've handled these companies hasn't been too bad, the, the ones that they've bought recently. And I, at the very least, I hope that continues. It was in, it's interesting because Sony and, and, and Microsoft have a lawsuit going on right now, um, specifically trying to stop Microsoft from buying Activision Blizzard, uh, which I honestly I hope it does get blocked just because I don't want I don't want anyone to own Activision Blizzard. I don't even play that many Activision Blizzard games, but like monopolies are bad, <laughs> and sure it's still far from a monopoly, but. I don't want one publisher to own that many, the the rights to that many games, you know, because they they already bought Zenimax Studios, which is the the publisher of all your Elder Scrolls and Dooms and Wolfenstein's, etc., etc., etc. Then there's the first party Microsoft Studios titles, of course. Then they bought up what a, a half dozen or so smaller studios to put under Microsoft Studios. Um, and now they're trying to buy one of America's largest, if not America's largest publisher. Like, that's just, man, <laughs> no company should have that much crap. It's too much. It's too much. Uh, but anyways, the whole point is, it's interesting because they're having that lawsuit. And one of Sony's arguments is that if they were to buy Call of Duty, it would be nearly impossible for any company, including them, to create a... Uh, a viable first-person shooter to to compete with it right because I mean a lot of companies have tried Medal of Honor's one instance of that but uh um like no one's been able to to really succeed Battlefield's the closest with EA but it's it's still not a true competitor you know like it it competes but it doesn't sell anywhere near the same numbers and Microsoft's rebuttal for that was even if we do buy it, it would be literally impossible for us to make a profit unless we sell it on Sony's console, because Sony sells twice as many consoles as we do. But, like, I don't know if that argument really holds up. Like, I understand Sony sells twice as many consoles as Microsoft. I get that. And I, I do understand that if they, if they didn't release on Sony's console, they probably wouldn't be able to make a profit. I understand that as well. But, like, is that a valid argument for why you should own a brand? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think so. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what the, what the courts decide, I suppose. Second story window. You? Oh, that was a miss. I think I got him in the shoulder there. Hoping for a Witcher type on it. I don't know. I feel, I feel like it's going to be very Elder Scrolls. Um, honestly, time will tell. But I'm, I'm fairly certain, personally, that they, are, they were just trying to... Before it was clear that Microsoft was buying ZeniMax, I'm pretty sure they were just trying to, you know, compete with them as much as they can. Especially because, as, as most people know, Obsidian and uh, Bethesda have a bit of a history. ZeniMax holding most of the... Uh, or A lot of the people from ZeniMax being... Or, fuck, man, I can't speak... A lot of the people from Obsidian being the original creators of Fallout and then Bethesda buying Fallout and giving them a chance and not being happy with the results and taking the the any future rights to to Fallout away from Zenima or from Obsidian, etc., etc., etc. Like, you know, so there's there's some history there. So I honestly think they were just doing everything they could to to compete with Bethesda, to be honest. So I feel like Avowed's going to be very Elder Scrolls esque, but Time will tell. Zenimax owned both Obsidian and Bethesda, and if I remember right, and some Obsidian was part of the OG Fallouts. No, Zenimax didn't own uh, Obsidian. Um, Zenimax owns Bethesda and a handful of other companies, but they d didn't own Obsidian. Obsidian was its own independent company. Um, they may have been owned by someone else at some point, but it wasn't. It wasn't Zenimax though. Uh, and yeah, yeah, most of Obsidian were part of the OG Fallout, yeah. A large portion of uh, of Obsidian was from Black Owl Studios or whatever the name of the original Fallout creators was. I think it was Black Owl. Oh, which are like growth on the Outer Worlds. So like the first game being good concept, but with some issues, and the second one improving upon that, and then the third one just being, according to many people, a masterpiece. 
that's more or less what you're hoping for? I'd be okay with that. Although, I personally, I hope the second one ends up being a masterpiece, you know? Hope we don't have to wait for the the, the third one. That was supposed to be thought. Oh. <laughs> you And you thought Zenimax owned both Obsidian? That's what you're trying to say? Yeah, no. They didn't. If they did, I'm sure the parent company would have uh, stepped in at some point with the whole Fallout New Vegas 2 thing. Because while Fallout New Vegas 2, or I'm sorry, Fallout New Vegas is the lowest scored Fallout game um, on as far as aggregate sites go, which, I mean, aggregate sites should be, their numbers should always be taken with a grain of salt. But... While that is true, it is still a fan favorite for a lot of people. Um, the the I'd say probably vocal minority really really like New Vegas compared to Fallout 3, Fallout 4, etc. Which is you know fair. I get it. I do think New Vegas is a good game, but I am one of the non-vocal minority people that do believe Fallout 3 and 4 are are better. Um, just because of the world. I, it would be stupid to try and argue that New Vegas doesn't have better gameplay mechanics. It definitely has better gameplay mechanics, man. 100%. New Vegas plays so much better. But I personally think the story and world of Fallout 3 are uh, so much better than, than that of New Vegas. Fallout 3, I can just get lost in the world running around for hours and hours and hours. By the time I was done playing... New Vegas, like by the time I finished up the story on that, I just wanted to complete it because I was tired of running back and forth doing the 10 millionth fetch quest of a side quest running through New Vegas, you know? Like there was just so many, so many quests in that one where it's just like, go talk to this person that is one building down from this building you were just at for that last mission. Now go to the other side of New Vegas and go to this building that you've been to three times and talk to the... Now turn around and go to the outskirts of New Vegas and kill this... Like, I just got so tired of running around New Vegas, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was just... It was a bit much. But the game itself was still very good. Don't get me wrong. I just... Uh, I enjoyed 3 better. Uh, at the same time, though, Fallout 3 was my first Fallout game. Uh, 3D Fallout game because I had played a little bit of Fallout 1 before that. Um, so I'm sure there's some level of like nostalgia for that or whatever. Closing in on ad time. You're right, dude. We're getting there. We're probably going to go a little bit over because I ran a uh, extra ad while I was switching games earlier. So we'll probably go just a little bit later than than usual. But uh, we're not going to hold it up too long. The, the ad break. I mean, not the... Dude, if you can teleport, why didn't you say anything? That would be extremely useful to this war, you know? Can't you just, like... Can you only teleport, like, what is that? A foot? Can you teleport any farther? Like, maybe just teleport right above us and knock some people... Oh, can you teleport or walk through walls? I'm very confused what your superpower is, man. Because I just saw you walking through walls, but a moment ago you were teleporting through walls. I don't know what's going on. You'll give him an extra game to nail Outer Worlds. I mean, look, from everything I've seen, because again, I haven't played it yet. From everything I've seen, Outer Worlds was a good enough game, right? It wasn't a bad game. So even if Outer Worlds 2 only improves upon it slightly, I wouldn't say that's a bad thing. It would just be awesome if, you know, uh, if, if Outer Worlds 2 ended up being like the masterpiece. Big red one? No, um, Medal of Honor Vanguard. Yep, Medal of Honor, you got it. Just run up a little bit. Seems like whenever you run up, they, they have a tendency of retreating. So it seems like in a lot of situations, it's better to just run up than it is to uh, to try and stay back and actually take people out. I'm sure there's situations where you have to take people out before you move forward. Oh, God. But in most situations, it seems like it's better to just run forward. Oh, my God. The grenades. Oh god. Oh god. 
Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I saw that coming, man. <laughs> I didn't know where to go because of that grenade. Next thing I knew, I was just surrounded by people. That was... <laughs> that could have went better. We should probably uh, switch our weapon, actually, since we're a lot closer at the moment. Maybe use the, the full auto here. Okay, these guys are just going to run away. I don't actually need to waste ammo on any of them. That guy? Is that who? There you go. Got him. Are those, oh, those are airplanes. I thought they were birds, man. Not gonna lie. God damn it. These grenades are killer, dude. Did I get him? I think I got him. It's great in your opinion. You won't complain if two's the masterpiece. Just don't want to get your hopes up too high either. Very, very fair, man. Over, over hypeness for video games has been a real problem lately, I feel like. I mean, Cyberpunk 2077 probably being the, the largest example, but there have definitely been been a lot of games recently where the hype has just not matched the, the quality of game. I think it's probably related to the fact that, like, just gaming in general is becoming a much bigger hobby. You know, much more people are enjoying gaming now than they were, you know, say, 20 years ago. So there's just more people to be hype about games. It's probably a part of the problem. And then, and then, you know, the more people you have hype for a game talking about it online or whatever, the more exposure it gets. The more exposure it gets, the more hype starts to build for it. And then it's just a, uh, a vicious cycle of people getting too excited for what's in, what is going to end up being a, a mediocre experience in a lot of cases. Oh, those are just like, are they floating? Those are definitely floating. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think their I think their hitboxes might be a little messed up, man. We just got some floating what are they, wooden blocks over here? I wish we could uh aim down sights and move at the same time. There we go. Got everyone. That's it. They're on the run. Set the charge on the door. Stuff hope for 40 2077. Yeah, I mean I need to go back and and play more of it. Um cuz what I played at 2077 was okay. You know, it wasn't terrible or anything. I just think it was kind of I think it was just kind of bog standard. Nah, sadly, I'm I'm Holding the sprint button and nothing. Unless, do we have to be sprinting and then aim? That'd be a weird way to... No, you can't aim while sprinting at all. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. It just takes a little bit of getting used to, you know, since I'm used to playing more modern shooters. Where you can... Uh, ADS and move at the same time. But it works, you know? And it makes sense, too. Like, how often in real life would you be running somewhere while aiming down sights on a rifle? You know, like, that doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense. So I totally get why that wouldn't be a thing. But anyways, yeah, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk's okay. I, uh, if they do make a second one, I hope it, I hope it goes well, obviously. I mean, why wouldn't you want good games, you know, just in general? <laughs> I hope every game gets better for its sequel, man. Definitely got hit with the side train effect. Yeah, that's my, my brother with, I've mentioned it before, with uh, Starfield, man. He is ridiculously hyped for that game. And I'm honestly very worried about it the more I see it, that it's going to be empty. That it's just gonna be, it's gonna be all hype, no, no substance. God damn it, I think I missed both of them. Shot him in the hand, let's go. 
that a dude? No, that was a box. Okay. <laughs> uh, the newest Mortal Kombat game is a disappointment to you when you look back. Man, I haven't like properly played a Mortal Kombat game since two or three <laughs> way back in the day. I played a, a tiny bit of Mortal Kombat Deception and Shaolin Monks for the gauntlet here. Tried them out, but other than that, I, I really just haven't played much Mortal Kombat in a long time. It's another one of those series just like Cyberpunk and everything else where I do want to play more of it. I do want to try it out because I enjoyed what I played of them, but I just never played that much or got that far. Uh, no, get up. Destroy the shore gun. Which one? Over here? No. Oh, he must be talking about the, the shore guns must be the giant cannon looking things in here. That would make sense. Why destroy it? Couldn't we hold the position and then use these for our own defense? I gotta imagine they're not gonna just like give up on this base here. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Oh, we were far enough away. Thank God. Nice work, men. You've proven yourself worthy of wearing those wings today. You were midway through your second play before you started playing Stardew. We're about 20 miles I just haven't played it in so long, like that. It, whenever I do play it again, I'm probably just gonna have to start over. But I never got that far. You know, I only got four or five hours into it, so. That game, I'm, I don't know, but I'm assuming that game's probably like a 40 to 60 hour experience. Wait, the newest Mortal Kombat game doesn't have a skimpy outfit for the female ninjas? <laughs> that is very weird. I'm one of the people that doesn't really care one way or another. If, uh characters dress skimpily or not but it, it is weird considering that mortal kombat has always had some very uh showy let's say <laughs> clothing for some of the ninjas man some of the characters you started modding started a little bit more what kind of mods i obviously a uh, big fan of modding stardew valley love me some stardew mods campaign medal was awarded for completing all levels in a campaign so you just automatically get it, get that one whenever you beat a level. Nice. Without dying, sprint recovery bonus is awarded. Oh, oh. I didn't mean to continue. I was trying to see what they were all for. Oh, well. So that was Husky. Wait, is there only four? There are only four sections to this game? Four or four campaigns or whatever? And we already finished one of them? Wait a second. How long is this game? Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Uh, what is this one? Medal of Honor Vanguard. How long to beat? Holy shit, yeah, it's only four hours long, man. <laughs> that is... That's a short game. Three hours and 52 minutes is the, uh, the average for the main story. The main plus, so like main with extras, is only five and a half. The fastest time on how long to beat. There may be speedruns that do it faster. But on how long to beat, the fastest time is 2 hours and 12 minutes on PS2. Apparently also came out on the Wii. Which, first-person shooters on the Wii, I actually find kind of interesting. Just because you can use the, you know, Wiimote to aim with. One of these days, I want to get the uh, PlayStation Move and try that out. Because they have, like, those those gun attachments that you can put the move controllers down in and then use that to aim and shit like that. Which, honestly, seems like a pretty decent way to play an FPS game. Although nowadays, I guess with VR, it's kind of a mute point. I get, uh, Unless you get really motion sick with VR. Which I do, so <laughs> maybe better for Husky me that way. Going bad and the brass knew it. Half the troops were lost before they hit the ground. When we got to England, they'd pile 16 of us into a truck every day, drive away from the manor where we had our camp, and dump us. We got pretty good at finding our way back. Same truck, every day. Don't get lost. I'd broken my hand in some unit training. I was off the jump roster. A few guys got assigned to the beach landings. I drew the triple AAW, anti-aircraft artillery, glider drop. 
In Anzio, they'd found a diary from some German officer. He called the airborne devils. Devils in baggy pants. Well, we're coming to France now. And the devils are gonna have their due. Dun, dun, dun. One of these days you want to try out VR? It's a lot of fun, but uh, if you get motion sick like I do, there's some games you just can't play, man. Because um, like as soon as you start to move with that headset on, it's just... Oh, man. <laughs> I want to barf. Some people are basically unaffected by it, though, so it really depends on the individual. Some people can run around for hours and be fine. Other people like me, you know? You press that joystick forward and you're done. <laughs> now, a lot of games have, like, a teleport mode or something like that. Um so that you can still play a game, but it's just not as immersive. You all know the drill. We're here for bridges and crossroads. We link up with Got the ridge something the village mod ground. and east scarp. I have no idea what either one of those are, man. <laughs> east scarp. I can't tell if that's a typo, Nate, or if... Uh, Or if that's uh, like an actual name of the mod. Up and at him, Keegan. We're the only ones left. Wait, our everyone died but us? Moving in on our position. No, we're fucked, man. <laughs> Why am I leaning so badly? Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> I told you we were fucked. <laughs> am I like stuck to something? Why were we leaning to the left like that so hardcore? Oh, we're doing it. We're still doing it. Are we just on a really steep hill? Maybe we're just on a really steep hill or something. This, this looks really weird. Watch out! There's a crop with a car 98 out there now! Keep your head down! Work your cover! Hello. You look friendly. God damn it. I get some covering fire maybe, dude? Let's go. Wait, are you... Are you... You're friendly. Okay, yeah, the X is popping up. You gotta be friendly. You're not friendly, though. <laughs> Hi, guy. Oh, God, that's a grenade. Get down. My head is down. Don't tell me what to do. Adds a new village area with their own festivals and other stuff. They're both expansion mods. The only uh, expansion mod I've ever actually tried for Stardew is the uh, Stardew Valley Expanded. Really good mod. Love it. But uh, yeah, it's the only one I've actually tried so far. Oh, God. He died in like three shots. Okay. Okay. Obviously, we need to be a little bit more careful in this area. <laughs> just, just a wee bit. Watch out! There's a crowd with a car 98 out there now. Keep your head down. Work your a crowd? Is that what they call Germans? <laughs> a crowd? Because they like sauerkraut? I'm not a big fan of sauerkraut, man. I do like uh, pickled cabbage. But I don't really care for sauerkraut. It's weird. So I mean, it's essentially the same thing. I like vinegar pickled sauerkraut, I guess. Not not like not uh, fermented cabbage. I suppose that would be the the difference, you know. Okay, he definitely threw that straight forward. Not. Oh God, I'm I'm exposed. Get down. <laughs> Fine, everything's fine. You can't see me. Now you can see you, God. It's fine. We'll just lay here forever. It's perfectly fine. They'll never see us. Hello? There you are. Hi, friendos. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Oh, dude, this game. Okay. It's fine. I just gotta get good, man. <laughs> I told you before we started, I suck at console FPS. I'm hardly decent at PC FPS. Like, uh, pause. I need a drink. Ugh.
Thank you again for the uh, tea noodle. It is wonderful. I know I've said that like three times, but I really am enjoying it. Watch out! There's a crowd with a car 98 out there now! Keep your head down! Work your cover! Work your cover? Damn it! Why'd you step in front of me? Dude, how are we not hitting him? I think we hit him, but I don't think he died. Why are we not getting more grenades in between missions here? Are we not, like, getting new supplies? You would think, like, every time they send us back out, back out, they would refill our, our stock or something. Not just <laughs> leave us hanging, but I guess, fuck us. I don't know if that was a good throw or not, but... Oh my god. Oh god, grenade. Uh, <laughs> get back up! <laughs> Why are you crouching? Get up! I need, like, a sniper of my own here, man. So I can make some long-range shots a bit more easily. Did I get him? I really can't tell. Oh, we can use up and down to kind of aim higher and lower, too, when we're in a uh, ADS. That's kind of neat, honestly. We need to regroup with the others and get to the bridges. Oh, yeah, see? Like I mentioned before, it seems like, it seems like a lot of times all you really got to do is just run forward. Because whenever you hit, like, a certain checkpoint of your, like, forward in the level or whatever, they just kind of retreat a lot of times. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a guy there. Well, hey, we got an objective, so that probably means we got a checkpoint, too. Fingers crossed. Maybe. Hopefully. Perhaps. Nope. Okay. <laughs> well, instead of doing that again, I think it's the perfect time to head on over to a break. We have to switch games anyways. But before we head to break, Let's do the drawing for the next game, shall we? Let me make sure I copy the list here since it has all of the latest weights and things on it um, and what has been played and hasn't been played. Um, there we go. Copy up to there and control V to paste. Oh, another wait for Shaman King? You would say that just as I <laughs> update it. That's fine though. No, I can I can still throw that in. It's not too late. It's not too late. Shaman King. Two votes for Shaman King. Okay, so we're up to four. Four votes on Shaman King. Let's go. Let me mark those off. That's another one. Okay. Five. How many are you going for, bud? <laughs> There's five. Any more? We done? Low riders are uh, not a valid option. You can pick a different game if you want to, but if you read on there, it says it has to be an unplayed game. We played that. Okay, we good? I think we're good. All right, let me uh, update my other list too since I... I should probably just condense them down to, like, one list at some point, but what are the options? Uh, there is uh, quite a few. <laughs> uh, there's a link. I can just send you a direct link to the, to the page. It's all of the ones listed in green on this page. That's a long link, but... You're done for now, Nate? Okay. <laughs> Let me mark them off as complete before I forget. It has been tried, and that's that's all Lowrider is going to get. <laughs> I'm not going any farther with that. Um, 
but yeah, there's there's quite a few games on that list. Uh, some of them we can't do for copyright reasons, like Guitar Hero and stuff like that, so I wouldn't waste your vote on them ones either. Um, I'm going to at some point, this is brand new, I just set this up like before stream, uh, but I have a little notes section on that page too, so I'm going to make a little note on games like Guitar Hero and whatnot that we can't play for that reason. But any of the other ones we should be good to do if you want to vote on those. Double O Seven, Call of Duty, bunch of the Cabela's games, Iron Man, Jack X, Lord of the Rings, Out of Gear Solid Three, sports games, of course, because there's always sports games. Scooby Doo, Shaman King, that's the one that Nate keeps voting on. Spider Man, SOCOM, Worm Sports. There's a there's a good handful there. I guess we can go ahead and actually we're done updating stuff for the moment. I did update both, right? Shaman King, Shaman King. That should be set to five. There we go. Five votes on Shaman King. On my personal page, and that should now match this one here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I saw the uh, Alien Hominid. That game's been completed. <laughs> I finished that game on stream. The The ones in green are the uh, are the valid ones man not the not the gold or the blue cuz this is the list of every PS2 game um so like it it shows there which ones i own which ones i've streamed which one i finished um the ones in green specifically the the darker green and lighter green are the ones that i own but haven't played on stream yet so those ones are valid outside of the uh the ones that have like copyright issues like guitar hero like i mentioned i can i mean if it becomes too confusing to people i i sometimes forget that a lot of people don't really use spreadsheets all that often i uh i use spreadsheets a lot but it may not be as intuitive to some people if it becomes too confusing i'll make like a, a subset of the list or something like that with just games that i own to uh or just valid options or something to make it a little bit easier for people Uh, yeah. Alien Hominid was the first game we played, man, on stream. Well, on the PS2 Gauntlet. I've played plenty of other stuff on stream before that. But uh, it was the first PlayStation 2 game that we did on stream. It was fun. It had some issues, that's for sure. But it was fun, nonetheless. I It's one of so many games that I think would be better if we had, you know, two, two, two players instead of just one. Because, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, though. Okay, so this page should have updated now. If we check Castle Crashers when you get a chance, it's amazing. Yeah, I've heard good things of Castle Crashers, honestly. Okay, Shaman King does have the five votes now. The four that you put on there tonight, Nate. Uh, we'll give Hattie another second in case he picks another game. If not, then take your time, Hattie. You'll just I'll leave your vote on Lowrider on there until until you have like another option or whatever. In case uh you can't or don't want to pick right now. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna re-roll, see what we're playing next. Turn off the number toggle. Ten. Nine. <laughs> Dot hack volume one. That's not one of the green ones, man. That's the first gray one. <laughs> I do want to play the dot hack games at some point. The uh, fourth game is very expensive, though. Dot hack part four quarantine. Very expensive. But one of these days, I do want to get it. Now, if you want to vote for a game that I don't own, you can still vote for it. As long as it's a game that hasn't been streamed, you can vote for it. It just obviously won't get picked until I. Uh, until I own it <laughs> it's a real game yeah 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 dot hack gu volume one um they actually have multiple dot hack games there's dot hack gu and then just dot hack um uh, both of which are multi-part games gu has three uh dot just the regular dot hack has four games on the ps2 they're actually pretty interesting games they're i don't know they get they get a bit old pretty quickly to be honest with you 
but they they are they're interesting because it's just like the the gameplay loop is very repetitive and the uh, the individual worlds don't change very much but there are a very large number of of generated worlds that you can play in which is which is interesting mgs3 i'll put you down for mgs3 metal gear solid 3 uh two votes on that now all right let me update that on my personal copy of the list and then we're going to do our reroll everything should have automatically updated oh you want to add two points to it we can do that addy there we go so that'll be on three now oh shit multiple points okay so one for low rider and uh, which you went to mgs3 so that's one, two, three. Oh god. <laughs> Did my mouse just die? No. Hello? Mouse? There it goes. Alright. I'm gonna you can keep voting if you want, but I'm gonna cut you off in like a couple I don't know, ten seconds because we gotta do the reroll so I can take the break and uh switch over games. So ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two one zero okay one two three more for shaman king i'll count that one four more for shaman king and one two three four five six more for metal gear solid three so metal gear solid three is now up to eight shaman king's up to nine okay <laughs> you guys are insane all right so that was six for or no eight for metal gear and nine for shaman king all right i need to mark this off twitch too before i forget and then we're doing the reroll so that's one two three four five six shaman king sucks ass i've never played it so i wouldn't know <laughs> i've never even seen the anime to be honest with you okay let me make sure that i have everything marked down right we have eight and nine cool cool okay let's do the roll and toggle number give it a second to load sometimes it does load a couple times so we're gonna wait just a second to see if it changes it didn't change so 67 shaman king as it is or shaman king it is and just to so you guys i showed it before but just so you know that it is truly random i just turned this off wait a moment and now to roll something else this time it rolled high heat major league baseball but it rolled shaman king so let's fucking go dude shaman king is the one so we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and switch on over to that game and then we'll be right back guys i enjoy anime too to be honest but i understand it's not everyone's cup of tea and that's okay if we didn't have 200 red orbs before coming in here, how would we have gotten through this level? I don't actually know. I like how we're using, like, Ifrit gauntlets, but then our, our we can also, like, use our heal. Like, 